What is up, everyone? It's me, Goji Mazzle in 1994. And what I'm gonna do is for my for my darn it 25th thousand view special, I'm going to re-review, re-re-review. This is the third review, by the way, of these guys. But my opinions have quite changed. So let's get started. Now, what better way to start off with everyone's favorite kaiju, Zilla. Now, Zilla here, he has a lot of things going on. Like, for example, you see, like, there's, um, there's yellow on his eyes and claws. Which, yes, I'm aware these are bootlegs, but I like them and I consider them actual figures. I'm not gonna lie. And... A blue tint down his spikes right here. White teeth. And what's odd about that is there's also like a silver line going down his chin. I don't know why. And he, I don't know why, but this pose really reminds me of him being Spider-Man. So I'm just going to leave that alone. He's in like, yeah, he's in like a Spider-Man pose. He can't, he, he stands well, but sometimes falls over. But, I mean, yeah. Now, next one. Mechagodzilla. Mechagodzilla is entirely silver with red dots on his, uh, I guess, uh, ears. And white, sorry, yellow eyes. That's literally about it. He's in just like a pose. I wish his arms were just like folded upward. Got a pen on my arm. Uh, my hand. Why do I keep getting stuff on my arm? I don't know. And by the way, Zilla didn't have any articulation. And it looks like that if you broke the glue seam, sure it would come off. But I believe it, it would rotate. I believe that would happen. But I did mention that if he came with, like, an extra head, you could have, like, put him up there. So it looked like he would be flying. But, yeah, that's pretty itch much for Mechagodzilla. Pretty simple. Next one, if my camera would stop on focusing, Anguirus. Anguirus is one of my favorites from the entire Godzilla series. One of my favorites. And, again, he's very simplistic. He has yellow teeth, yellow horns, and yellow nails, a kind of brownish grayish body with white and black eyes, which they're kind of pointy, and his tail's long, but not too long, and it's also a bit pointy over here, but that's literally about it. You can't really pose him any other way, I guess like this, like a grabbing Godzilla for quick second you can maybe pretend like they're battling out like that but hold on I accidentally dropped Gagan which speaking of Gagan yeah he has oh he's very very simple he also has no articulation and speaking of Gagan here is Gagan now you may notice what is that wait yeah what is that that is actually dried up glue that I forgot to clean up uh, his arm came off, and I had to glue it back on, but the glue kind of leaked through and went over here, so I still have yet to clean that up. He's all, uh, his colors are yellow, gray, red, and like a bluish green with silver. Yeah, gray, silver, whatever. And not to mention, these golden fins are made out of like a flexible material. So I guess they have a little bit of play with them. So I guess if you drop them, they just like the NECA Godzilla's, they're rubberized. The spikes are rubberized, so I guess he's pretty much fun to play with. We run got again with this buzzsaw. And I'm not sure if this is not, I'm not sure if this is accurate, but I feel, I thought, aren't these like, painted silver in the movie? I can't remember. But anyways, on to the next kaiju. Which is Godzilla Jr. 
Godzilla Jr., the prince of the monsters, which no one really refers to him as that, is very, very cool looking. He's in like this kind of battle action pose, looks like. Where his tail is just kind of like swooping a bit upward. It looks very dynamic for him. And again, he, he doesn't have it many colors, aside from green to the body. Uh, red derp eyes. Just like Derpy Godzilla, but over there he's he's the derpiest out of the bunch. White for the claws, eyes, teeth, and the spikes. But that's pretty much about it. Only three colors. Not anything major, but he's super glossy. I, I know that. Actually, all the figures are pretty glossy. So it makes the make him look pop. Really pop. And speaking of which, Godzilla Jr. 2. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Alright, that's a bit cringy. Anyways, here is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Possibly the one that you guys have been waiting for. Now, I call this guy the son of Godzilla Godzilla. Why? Because, spoiler alert, at the end of the movie... Godzilla huddles up with Minya when the when the when they're like um freezing the island and it and since he has like splotches of white I believe this was to remove like the translucent parts on him who knows but it just looks like he has snow on him that's what it kind of looks like but anyways getting to the actual figure Again, Godzilla Jr. has, like, the derp eye, so does he. And he also has black in the eyes, as well. N nothing really going on in the mouth, except the white teeth. Uh, it, his color vari variety is just black and white, probably like a 1954-esque. But, of course, this is a Heisei Godzilla, and if you disagree with me, go. I'm kidding. Anyways, the tail... Actually, this is the longest tail in the entire collection because grabbing Zilla, who also had a long tail, doesn't even compare. MG? Nope. And plus his tail is too short. How about Godzilla Jr.? Close, but not. Gagan? Nope. And the final one, who I actually like to compare him with, Angurus. So as you can see, he is a very big figure and a very long figure, so... Huh. Now we're gonna go over the four repaints, which are barely different from each other aside from a different kind of colored translucent scheme, which all four of them are translucent colors, uh, red, orange, blue, and white. Uh, grabbing a flashlight real quick. Uh, yeah, grabbing the light. Ugh. I don't know what I ate. Uh, hold on, wait. Come on. Technical difficulties. Hold on, I'll be right back. And now we're back. Anyways. See how translucent he is? I like the spines. Come on, stay with us. I call this guy Atomic Fire Godzilla because he's blue. And the last one. I think I forgot to show this guy spikes. Yep. So there we go. So, yeah, that is pretty much my third review of these guys. If you guys want a little bit more information about each individual figure, I'll leave the two videos in the link in the description below. So, the first one is a very old video, which is one of my most popular videos, which is my most popular Godzilla-related video, and the re-review, which is less popular by a long shot, but still needs attention. So, yeah. Like! Comment, subscribe to the channel, please. It would help me out a bunch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.